New at 6, Springfield officials announced the Boyle Water Advisory has been lifted after the Oregon Health Authority confirmed the water is now safe to drink. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kendall Bartley. Now this comes as many residents within the community remain without power tonight. We continue to hear from officials around Lane County that the recovery efforts from this week's ice storms will take time. We know there are people still without power, but even for those who are fully restored, there are things to be aware of. KVL's Brandon Cameraman is live in Eugene with more on how the recent weather damage is still causing problems. Brandon. Well, Kendall, the good news is there is good news. Just like you said right off the top, the boil water advisory lifted. That's great news. And even just driving around town, you see the improvement. Certainly things look a lot better today than they did yesterday. Is certainly earlier than, a, than they did earlier in the week uh, with debris that was just strewn throughout roads. Um, a lot of that has been picked up, but we are not perfect yet. Now the good news again. Power has been restored for a lot of people. Pacific Power reaching out uh, to us this afternoon saying that about 99% of its customer base has had their power restored. We know eWeb was able to, able to make it uh, east on 126 and get a lot of people upriver power. About a thousand customers upriver have had their power restored. Uh, Emerald People's Utility District restoring power. Springfield Utility Board also getting power back to people. But let's be honest, there are still a lot of challenges that people are facing from this ice storm. There are still people without power, and some of those people have been without power for nearly a week. And there are still water issues, even though the boil water advisory for sub has been lifted. There are still water issues for some people within our community. But another issue that is going to take a long time to deal with is is tree debris, fallen limbs, uh, fallen trees that are still either blocking roadways, driveways, sidewalks, uh, city parks and uh, areas that people frequent. There's still an issue with that kind of getting dark out. But behind me as this bus pulls up behind me, there's the I'm right by Amazon Parkway in the Amazon dog park. There's a ton of debris just strewn throughout from one tree, the limbs from one tree that have really just clogged up the area right around the parkway. Earlier we were looking inside the park and there are trees down inside the park that are still going to take some time. And that means when you're out driving around, you have to keep in mind that there still is going to be debris in your way. Some people, some uh, areas we've had debris pushed off to the side of the roads, uh, which is good to just allow traffic to get through. But it's still somewhat dangerous as it's, uh, you know, length, the, the, the width of shoulders has become smaller because of that debris and some of that debris is still out on the road. Our live shop buddy Lauren Ruark, our photographer, went uh, west on 126 this morning to take a look at the area, kind of heading out to Mapleton and Florence, that area, and that is loaded with debris. A lot of private citizens have done a great job of cutting up some of that debris and getting it off the roadways, but it is still out there. And uh, the city officials, they want to remind everybody, if you are clearing off that debris from your private property, just make sure you're not putting it out on the streets because that's still an issue. As I mentioned, eWeb has made it up uh, the McKenzie and they're still working out there. These crews have been working nonstop since this ice storm hit to restore power in Eastern Lane County, making progress that way as well. We also recently got information uh, that there are going to be a couple community resource centers that are going to be opening this week for residents affected by the ice storm, one at the Lane Event Center, one at Springfield City Hall. They'll be open Saturday and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The one in Springfield will have bottled water available, but it's also an opportunity for people to just get some hot meals, some snacks, charge devices. I know for the people without power, that's been a big issue is getting access to their devices and access to information. And then there will also be some resource providers there who can help people understand, uh, you know, how to reach out to insurance companies, who to talk to. There will be trauma services as well, because the bottom line is, and we keep stressing this, this ice storm, which lasted a few days, is actually the recovery efforts going to last 
weeks and for some people this is going to last a long time as they work to repair some of the damage. But a reminder, again, as you're driving around, things look better. You still have to be safe. Drive safe. That debris can catch you off guard. Those tree limbs can catch you off guard. And there are still crews that are going to be out working for next week or more. So keep your eye out for crews that are working on the side of the road or even as they shut down parts of the roadways. This is good news but there is still a lot of work to be done. So it's important to remember that this process will play itself out over quite some time. But again, we thank everybody for keeping it with us. We're gonna to continue to monitor the situation and the improvements to power and to the debris pickup over the next week and more. Live in Eugene, Brandon, cameraman Kendall, Kendall, I'll send it back to you. All right, thank you so much, Brandon. And he said it perfectly. When you're driving on those roads, it feels like it's back to normal. And then before you know it, there could be a tree branch. So thanks so much for that report, BK.